hello so i would like to describe my project for you i completed this sem under professor mr goswami the project required me to develop a machine learning model to predict the transmission peaks which gave the least error so i decided to use the k nearest neighbor algorithm and after running various optimizations for different files the best i found was chebyshev and n is equal to 2 the number of neighbors is 2 and the type of distance is chebyshev okay so this is the function where which up generates the model i have already generated the model and loaded it into matlab as it takes some time i will show you how to generate a model a new model so let's give a name model 2 the x and y is the features and the result list i will explain about it later so apply knn is the function i will try to generate it from 50 to 60 the file number 50 to file number 60 and the distance i will keep it as so it will go into this file and take the from 50 to 60 from file number 50 to 60 and it will predict a model using that data so by the time it's running i will explain you what this apply knn function is doing so apply knn function goes in this file and this file this transmitted data is the file where the actual results are stored these are got after the reconstruction and the variable x is where the features of all the files there are eight features i have found which give accurate result pretty accurate the best i could find so this find features takes x the amplitude the t time and m there is a window where i need to calculate the features so m points behind and m points ahead so it takes that m and generates features depending on that m and x and t so it returns features so get x y function this calls the find features and currently the data which i have in trans data it marks the peak so i have to convert it into the y form y is a boolean variable which tells whether this point is to be taken in a transmission peak or not so the model has been trained this is the model and to predict using this model we have to use this spread function this spread function takes in the model as an input and a start file number the end file number it will predict all the predict the data for all from starting to end and store it in this file ftd that trans file so i already predicted data from this trans file and i will show you how to predict it i will change the file where it stores the transmitted data so you can see it better so how how to use the pred function is i given the model 2 which i just trained and the starting and ending file so in test data i have 0 to i think 200 file or 400 file so i will try to train five files from 0 to 4 so this spread function uses the predict function here the predict function inbuilt matlab function to predict using model and the features list this x equal to find features it finds the same features that we used while training the model so to display we can use the display function it also takes which transmission file to display so since i change the transmission file i will change it here and this will go into trans and predict dot that data so so this is the predicted data it predicts that this peak is will be give the lowest error to show you the actual data which was used to predict the model i will take this file and let me show you a file number 
and to plot these variables. So according to the actual data, these are the peaks that should have been predicted. These are the kind of peaks that should be predicted. So date, okay, so I will now explain a little bit of files. So apply KNN is the file which predicts the model. It uses the get data function, which I have written it. So what get data function does is it just takes the file names and it reads the data and it feeds it into the variable t comma x comma tt and x tt and xt are the for transmitted data and i have also used the get xy function which finds the features and it uses the transmitted data and the, to find the value of y so y needs to be found for every point if the y if the point exists in tr transmitted data also then its value is 1 if it is not in the transmitted data its value is 0 Okay, now I will use the already predicted model, the MDL variable to predict the data. You can see that MDL2 has only nearly 5,50,000 points, while as the model variable has a lot more points, so it is going to take some time. And use predict model 0, 4, the same four files we used earlier. While this function is running, I can show you the optimization which I applied. So this is the optimization which I applied. This is the model mean, which is the least error. So we can clearly see that when it is in Chebyshev, the error is very less. And when the number of points is less, number of points is less, the error is even less. After applying a lot of optimization, the minimum objective came out to be 6 into 10 to the power minus 5, which is pretty low. I will also like to explain my logic for keeping the cost function like this. So cost i comma j is the cost of predicting an actually i to in class j. So if the point is 0 and it is predicted 0, there is no cost, which is nice. If the point is 1 and it is predicted 1, there is no cost, it is 1. But if the point was 0 and it was predicted and 1, I have to keep, keep the its cost low. Since out of 50,000 points, there only came out to be 7 points which were marked as 1. But I had to keep the cost of predicting and 1 into 0 high. So it will not predict a 1 to a 0, but it will predict a 0 to a 1 more probably. Okay, so now the model has predicted the data using the model which was trained for more number of points. I will now use the function display2. So as you can see it has now predicted more number of points. But now we get a point in each of the peaks. So it has higher probability of getting the higher correct number of 